So tell us about yourself. What's your name and what's your position at the World Trade Center in Utah? Okay, I'm Wing Ho Yi, originally from Malaysia. I'm the program coordinator here at World Trade Center Utah at UVU. Awesome. And how did you get into this position? So I was a master's student here at UVU um, about three years ago, and I was a work study student here. At the time, I was working here as a stu work study student, and then on the other side, I have a job that I have a company in Taiwan and in China to to import heavy duty tie down strap for the semi trucks to the U.S. So I have like about seven years of international trade related experience. Once I finished my MBA, Peter Jay, the director of the BRC, he decided to work with the World Trade Center Utah to start a satellite office here. And then he offered me a job here to run the office. Awesome. So can you tell us a little bit about the World Trade Center in Utah? Like when was it established? Yeah, um, World Trade Center Utah was founded by ex-governor John Huntsman Jr. back in year 2007. Back in those days when they, they realized that there's a need for Utah companies, like they grow so much internationally and at, at some point, you know, they, they have to find a place to go outside of the U.S. When people hear about World Trade Center Utah, often they, they will think about the tower in New York, for example. So we are one of the franchise from the World Trade Association. There are about 300 World Trade Centers across the world in 110 different countries. Every one of us operate independently. Here at World Trade Center Utah, we are public private nonprofit. So when I say public private, it, it means part of us is public. Like we are funded by the state, we are contracted by the state um, to offer resources to companies. For example, we have the step grant. We bring companies to go on trade shows, governor-led trade missions, stuff like that. And then on the private side, because we are 501c6, we have our membership models. We offer private services, like we call it a global business services to companies to help them to whether grow their business outside the US or source products from different countries outside the US. And so I know you said, you mentioned about the World Trade Center Utah being like a satellite. What's the purpose of having one of those at UVU? Before having the satellite office here at UVU, when people heard about World Trade Center Utah, for example, down in you know central Utah region, like rural Utah, um, some of the clients that I met, they, they have no idea who we are and what we do because most of the connections of, of the approach from World Trade Center Utah was based in the Salt, in Salt Lake County itself. So now that we have a satellite office here, our outreach capability has increased, like safer, the office here at UVU, we cover a region from Utah County all the way from Lehigh down to Nephi and all the way east to Park City to um, Verno. So it increased our coverage in you know places like that. And so what services does the World Trade Center in Utah offer? We offer the public and the private side of the services, like I mentioned earlier. Um, the public side of the service is funded by the state like the step grants, you know, each company can apply up to $15,000 a year to support the international growth effort. Like for example, if companies want to travel to the UK for a trade mission, they can reimburse the cost through step grants up to 75% of the cost. So it's very helpful. It's not a whole lot of money, but for a lot of companies, like small, medium size of businesses, it may help. And then um, we have governor-led trade missions. Like last year, we, we have governor-led trade mission to um, Israel and then we have a mission to Mexico and UK and France as well and then other than that we have trade shows for example in November we have outdoor trade show in Munich called the ISPO Outdoor so it's good for all the outdoor companies to go to the trade shows to exhibit under the Utah booth that's what basically what we offer on the public side on the private side we have the global business services we call the GBS service where we break it down to three phases so the first phase is that we call it the market identification, also called pathfinding, where we help a company to figure out what market, you know, say you, if you're a chocolate manufacturer, you may not know what country to go. We help you to identify what countries around the world will be the best fit for you. And then say if you find a top two countries, it could be the UK or it could be Thailand or Japan. Then we identify like go-to-market strategy. What other barrier regulatory you have to pay attention to before entering those markets? And then the last phase we call it the B2B matchmaking phase is that we help you to find potential 
buyers in the country, like B2B matchmaking, help you to set up meetings with the clients there. That is for the export side. We also help companies to find potential manufacturers as well. Like for example, you're currently local made here in the US, your capacity is increasing. You know, you want to find more ideal location to, to, uh, to manufacture your products. Then we could look outside the country and see maybe in Southeast Asia, maybe in South America, or maybe in Mexico, we could find potential manufacturers for your products. And with all these services that you provide or that the World Trade Center in Utah provides, how many clients do you have so far? We started back in April 2021. From then until now, we have helped, I would say, about almost 500 companies statewide. I mean, even though I mentioned that our region is mo mostly in central Utah, but sometimes if we receive inquiries from, you know, from out people outside the region, we'll still help them. Wow, that's really impressive. So it looks like the World Trade Center does do a lot. Well, thank you for this interview, and I think that's it.